Marwan Fellaini has often been derided as, at best, a clogger and at worst, a thug, but he's exactly the sort of utility player, physically imposing and energetic, that Jose Mourinho admires. He's been used in a variety of roles across his four and a half seasons at Manchester United, but under Mourinho in his last few games, he's emerged as an important box-to-box player with specific defensive jobs. Fellaini is currently playing as part of the midfield axis in a 4-2-3-1 that seems to have breathed new life into Manchester United this season. Lining up alongside Nemanja Matic in the absence of Paul Pogba, he plays with flexibility. Matic has a greater responsibility for creative passes, Fellaini on the other hand facilitates the movement of other players with short passing, keeping the ball moving so that the more creative Matic or an advanced midfielder like Henrik Mkhitaryan can pick their pass once the space has been opened up. Fellaini is also a significant aerial threat, and United use this, especially as their 4-2-3-1 encourages the fullbacks to get forwards. While Fellaini is involved in build-up play, once the ball is wide and United have the opposition pinned in their penalty box, he often moves forward into the space, with Juan Mata dropping back somewhat to cover the move forwards. When Romelu Lukaku scored against Southampton earlier in the season, the man behind him in the Saints' box was Fellaini, who'd found space while Mata had dropped to the edge of the box and Valencia pushed up but tucked in, ready to cover Fellaini should the Saints break. Defensively, this aerial ability is also used. When United's opposition attack down the flanks, the fullbacks push up to press the man with the ball. United's centre-backs try to stay in reasonable proximity to one another and Fellaini drops into a space between the right centre-back and where the fullback would be, not as far wide, but as the first line of aerial defence. He also drops deep, sometimes as far as the six-yard box, to assist his centre-backs should the opposition create and get into deep crossing positions. Fellaini manages this because of his excellent fitness. Indeed, his aerial duels occur all over the pitch, from his penalty box to the opposition's, showing his ability to get up and down the length of the field. Fellaini's job then is to defend across the pitch, to press and intercept, to win headers, and to provide cover to the fullbacks. He's not there to create. His numbers this season, compared with his other three full seasons at United, go some way to showing this story. While he has always been an aerial presence, he is currently winning more aerial duels per 90 than at any other time in his United career. While his tackles 1 per 90 is reasonably stable across all the seasons, dipping only in 2015-16, his interceptions 1 per 90 is significantly higher and he accounts for a higher proportion of successful interceptions in his last few matches than any other United player. Fellaini's key passes, however, have dropped. While he's still making a similar number of passes overall, he is no longer required to try and unlock defences and instead provides the backbone that allows Matic, Mkhitaryan and the others to flourish. In this, Mourinho is playing to Fellaini's strengths. He's not going to conjure defence splitting passes, but he will go up and down the pitch, cover his colleagues, and win headers and interceptions. He's exactly the sort of player that Mourinho admires, and when you look past the reputation, it's easy to see why.